Are you a newly qualified GP and fancy a 13 to 15k bonus before starting your first job? Yes, please. Stick around and let me tell you about the Deanery's Post CCT Fellowship. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mike. I'm a GP in Manchester, UK, and I'm also a university tutor at one of the medical schools nearby. And in this short video, I'm going to share with you my experience of being a Northwest Deanery Post CCT Fellow, how to apply for it, and finally, what to spend all that money on. I'm just joking, of course, it's obviously the Tesla. If you stick around to the end, I'm going to share with you a very lucrative piece of information for people who are thinking of becoming partners. So let's get started. I CCT'd in October of 2017, and my first thought was, let the good times roll, locum style. But then after two years of doing 12 hour walk-in center shifts, seeing the same patient over and over again, roughly every six minutes and doing other meaningless locum jobs, I started soul searching. Where am I going in life? And what do I want out of my career? And then I kind of realized that I actually want all of those cringy things that GPs say when someone asks them why they chose GP in the first place. I wanted variety, I wanted continuity of care and camaraderie of a clinical team. The RCGP really helped me out with that. I started attending their free member sessions locally, one thing led to another and I found out about the post-CCT fellowship. So what is the post-CCT fellowship? Deaneries are effectively funding one to two sessions, so that's about nine to 10K for newly qualified GPs to develop their own personal interest or a service in the area. But this comes from the practice. So a practice has an idea for a project, like they want to develop a diabetes hub or they want to develop leadership and managerial skills in a young GP. The project proposal gets approved by the deanery and then the practice advertises the salaried post. Then you, as a young GP, you apply for this post and if you get it, you become a fellow. So let's say you want to work six clinical sessions. Well, you will work six clinical sessions, but you will be paid one or two sessions on top of that. And this money is to fence off time for you to develop that project in your area or develop your personal interest. Furthermore, you'll get an additional three to 5K to spend on broadly understood education. So that's like doing a PG cert or a diploma in something that you're interested in. When I applied last Last year, my goal was to develop an interest in medical education. And by liaising with the Manchester University, I found out that there is a shortage of GPs and practices that are supervising medical students. So that was my project. The practice manager wrote in my application, and this is among other things in a similar vein. Chapter four of the five year forward plan describes supporting a modern workflows with employers putting new measures in place to support and retain NHS staff by encouraging them to develop their own special interests. In this particular case, education. Providing better education to medical students and infecting them with the opportunities available to primary care professionals will help provide and hopefully sustain a at times dwindling GP workforce. If you want to see the full application, just send me an email and I'll happily share it with you. During my fenced off time, I signed up to literally every unpaid training session organized by Manchester University, every free RCGP session locally, anything to improve my CV and help me understand how to better support medical students. Sadly, because of the pandemic, Manchester Uni was not recruiting that year, but that actually worked out really well for me because I got a brilliant job at another university nearby. In retrospect, I can say that getting the post CCT fellowship was probably one of the best things that happened to me after having having qualified as a GP. And I am forever grateful to the first fives that introduced me to the fellowship scheme in the first place. And finally, Leanne, the deanery administrator, if you are watching this for whatever reason, thank you so much for encouraging me to apply. Finally, I promised you a bonus at the end. Let's deep dive into our CCG newsletter and bring up a juicy bit of information worth 20K. So here we are. This is from the 23rd of December, 2020. Let's scroll down to other updates, non-COVID-19. Click on the general updates, scroll down even further. And there it is, the new to partnership payment scheme portal launch. So if you are thinking of becoming a partner, check out this website and I will leave a link in the description below. Now, I know this video is very money oriented and sometimes there is this perception that doctors are just money grabbing blood suckers. Money isn't the reason that I'm a doctor, but just like in any profession, it is nice to feel valued for the years spent training and preparing to do your job. And a lot of those years are unpaid or on quite low income. And another sad reality is that as doctors, you can make way more money working abroad, doing effectively the exact same job in the same language. And I think the NHS is slowly starting to realize that and they're really trying to retain these highly trained professionals. Right, that's it guys. I hope that was informative. If you did find that useful, give me a thumbs up and like this video and you can leave a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe and you can also email me directly. Otherwise, good luck.